Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series of Cadence Vertuso. Okay, so uh, in the previous lecture we have seen how to simulate the PMOS. Okay, so uh, in today's lecture we are going to again simulate the NMOS. So I am just going to go to file and open our NMOS. Alright, so here you can see uh, we have this library adcv underscore n and two cells PMOS and NMOS. So I am going to open the NMOS again. Alright, so here you can see it is our NMOS. Okay, so now uh, see we have simulated the basic NMOS. We have plotted ID versus VD characteristic, ID versus VDS, ID versus VGS, and we have done the parametric analysis as well. All right, but now uh, uh, I just want to show you that how much different kind of analysis you can do uh, in any kind of designs. Okay, this uh, these kinds of anal analysis we will be doing for different designs as well. Uh, for example, in inverter, we will see how to uh, get the optimal width of PMOS and NMOS. Okay, so uh, first of all, we will see the analysis of the process corners. Okay, so what is a process corner? You can see uh, uh, in the video, in the NMOS video, I told you about the model libraries and the process corners that is TT, SSFF, uh, SFFS. So these are the basically various processes in which you are, uh, which are uh, already present in your device libraries in the PDK. Alright, so TT stands for typical, typical SS stands for slow, slow, then fast, 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 slow, slow, fast. Okay, so you will see how uh, choosing these process corners can show us the different characteristics. So we will uh, just plot the graph, ID versus VGS graph uh, for different process corners. So we can see how ID versus VGS is varying. Alright, so here you have your schematic. Now what you do, uh, just go to launch, ADEL and uh, okay let us see if we have any uh, saved state session load state yeah i guess we had all right that is great so we have our saved state that is vgs now, okay uh, if you know uh, don't know how to uh, get the state and everything i would suggest was the first video uh, that is nmos iv characteristics all right so here uh, we have drain in the output and uh, dc analysis all right so go to outputs now here just go to setup sorry uh, sorry go to setup go to model libraries and you can see here uh, this is your model file and these are the this is the process corner so here in this file uh, there is this nn ss sf fs and ff all right so that is nn is for your typical typical and uh, that is normal normal and slow 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 fast fast slow fast fast this is how these are all right so first we will plot our simple graph on nn all right so i am going to press ok and i will just uh, click on netlist and run okay there is a fatal error let us see vgs input parameter all right sorry 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 yeah uh, we did the parametric analysis so we uh, specified the value of vdc as vgs so either what we can do is we can set the value here only or we can change it in the uh, schematic all right so let us set it here all right so let us click netlist and run and here you can see this is our uh, normal id versus vgs curve all right so here you can see wait i will just label it all right so here uh, in here i am just going to uh, create a label so create graph label just right click and create graph label so this is for our nn or tt process corner all right so here i will just place this here so that we will know yeah this is for our uh, this process corner all right uh, and now what i will do uh, i am going to go to setup model libraries i am going to change this selection okay i am going to change it as ss press ok and see here is an option that is plotting mode so i am going to select append instead of replace so it will be appending in the previous graph so i will again run it and you can see we have another plot okay so first of all we will just right click on it and change its color so that we will easily able to distinguish and now again i am going to right click create graph label and just press ss 
all right similarly again for setup model libraries ff okay it is appended press run okay wait all right it overlapped uh, although it should not let us see if uh, these are not selected properly just go to setup again model libraries okay it is sf not ff i will just plot ff first all right so i am going to press uh, start plotting we can see yeah this is your ss uh, wait okay i guess there uh, there are new curves this is your nntd this is hello uh, yeah sorry about that my screen just got froze so similarly see we have our nnntt or tt and then rss slow slow now what i will do i will just change its color as well so let us keep its color as yellow all right so now i am going to plot this for other uh, process corner so i am going to go to setup and here i am i have selected this ff all right so I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press Netlist and Run. So we can see here uh, this this third graph uh, that is for red color. We have this for FF. All right. So we will create a graph label. We will uh, write it as FF. You can see this is uh, how beautiful we have this plot ID versus VGS plot. Similarly, you can plot ID versus VDS plot as well. You can see the variations and uh, you can do it for all other process corners. All right. So this is one kind of variation. Another kind of variation uh, which you can do here is you can vary the width uh, and uh, or you can vary the temperature. All right. So here uh, first what we will be doing is we are going to vary the width. All right. So for varying the width, we will be uh, doing the uh, parametric analysis like we did before. So here I am just going to press escape. Okay, just uh, here press Q and for the width, just uh, write WP. All right. So, okay, uh, not WB, uh, W, let's say WN because width of NMOS. All right. So just press check and save. And now again, open your ADL. I will just close this graph. All right. And here is our ADL. So uh, go to variables, copy from cell view. All right. So now you have uh, this uh, WN. So let's say if you provide the WN simple as 120N, then it should work in a same fashion like it was working before. So you can see it is working perfectly. All right. So now what we will do is we are going to go to parametric analysis all right so tools and we are going to go to parametric analysis so here we are going to add variable that is wn all right the value is 120 let's say from 120n we sweep it to 66gn all right step mode uh, let's say linear or uh, let us keep it auto all right so here just press this green button and we can see see this is a graph for different uh, your different width of the nmos all right so here you can see how the width is affecting your id versus vgs curve all right so see you can see there are there is a lot of variation within that 
similarly you can select the id versus vds curve and all that uh, for different kind of variations all right so this is your width variation you can see here these are the widths uh, values which are there the red curve this is for your 120 so uh, till this time this curve we are giving we were getting so see the small uh, smaller the nmos is the less current it will draw that is larger nmos draws more current larger mosfet draws draws more current so you can see here this dark blue uh, mosfet nmos it is having the width 660 nanometer and the highest current it is around uh, somewhat less than 1.5 all right so more than 1.25 1. around something 1.3 so this was the higher c 1.31 so this is the higher current it, highest current it is drawing all right again uh, the middle one this uh, 390 nanometer mosfet this is drawing around this kind of current so this is how you perform the analysis basically all right so this we uh, this is then this is your width analysis all right uh, same you can do with id versus vds okay now next thing uh, i want to show you is the temperature analysis so i will just again close this okay and i will just simply run this for once see this one is on your 27 degree celsius so i will just create a graph label and will uh, write it 27 degree Okay, I will change its color. So I will change its color to yellow. All right. So now you can see here, this is our temperature option. Okay. So here you can see the temperature. Uh, there are scales as well. Okay. So for let's say we make it as 40. All right. Now I am going to run it. You can see there is a slight variation but here by doing it 40 it has this red line is coming okay i will just change its color again so let us make it this and here i am going to create graph label so i will name it as 40 degree. now we will see a higher variation all right so uh, let's say instead of 40 i do i take it 200 okay or uh, let's say 200 okay 200 would be more yeah uh, let's say i take it to 100 now i am going to run it again you can see here there is a, a very high variation as compared to this 27 and 40 for 100 it is a very high variation all right so create graph level we are going to create this 100 degree similarly we are going to reduce the temperature as well and we will see so first of all i will change its color let's say i change it to orange and now here uh, again your temperature let's say i take it to zero degree all right so here it is your zero degree so let us run and you can see okay uh, these are this this is for 40 this is for 100 this is for 27 and again create graph label sorry uh, create graph label yeah it is for your not 20 zero degree Okay, so see, this is how you can perform different kind of analysis. You, now you can see uh, how uh, current depends on various kind of parameters, like your weights, your temperature, your different conditions, uh, how your current depends, your process corners. So even let's say in any process technology, you want uh, your MOSFET uh, to give you higher current, you can just take a different process corner. All right, so this is how uh, we, we choose these parameters based on the conditions on which the MOSFET is going to operate. All right. And uh, I hope you are able to understand how our MOSFET works under different kind of conditions for different parameters. I would suggest you uh, try ID versus VDS characteristics and see the variations for ID versus VDS for uh, different parameters. And also you can perform the same thing for the PMOS. Okay, we have done it for NMOS. You can do the same thing from for PMOS. One more thing you can do is uh, till now uh, we have not taken in the body wise if, body effect into consideration. We have just uh, attached this uh, substrate terminal to the source only. You can have it biased and uh, provide voltage here, and then you can see how it affects the MOSFET as well. All right, so I hope uh, you were able to understand the concepts in this video. 
and I hope everything is clear. Still, if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. So this is all for this video. Uh, from the next video, we are going to start with the inverter and uh, we will see uh, first of all we will simulate the basic inverter then we will do the parametric analysis and uh, we will play along with the inverter as well so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video